Hey guys, in our last video we considered the Boston bombings and what the most likely and least likely explanation and suspects were likely to be. And we looked at uh, whether it could be a clever conspiracy by Obama and secret government spy agencies and just everybody in on a conspiracy sitting at a table deciding to kill Americans just so that they could push some political agenda as being one very, very unlikely scenario and all the different scenarios up to the most likely scenario. And we looked at the most likely scenario being between one and four people, nut jobs that just went out of their way to kill people because that's just what they did. And what do you know, it turns out it was two nut jobs um, who have just peers that have done this crazy thing. So again, we don't know for sure yet, but that's what looks like happened. Two of these guys have tried to run away from the cops and one of them's been killed and the other one's been caught. And it turns out they're two brothers that have come from a fairly violent background and been living in America for some time. So yes, so they're residents of America, there's two of them. So basically that was our most likely scenario, wasn't it? But before we heard any of this, our last video was, what, three days ago or something. We decided that that was the most likely scenario, that it would just be a couple of nut, nut jobs between one and four nut jobs that live in, live in America. As it turns out, two nut jobs live in America. So we did pretty well with our logic, didn't we? So <clears throat> they've got one and they're looking at it now. What we're hearing, of course, is uh, the people like Alex Jones and Glenn Beck, front page of YouTube. As always, the uh, conspiracy videos are the most popular. So the intelligent videos by Russia Today, BBC, CNN, are all sort of lost in YouTube somewhere. We don't get to see them. But the nut job videos by Glenn Beck and Alex Jones are on the front page because they're all about the conspiracies. Um, and there's um, interviews going with the boy's mother, with the two lads, the two dudes, the two criminals, the two suspected criminals' mother, where she's saying that they're innocent. So the conspiracy guys use that too. They go, oh, look, see, the mother says they're innocent. Well, yeah. <laughs> Whose mother wouldn't? Whose mother wouldn't lie for them? You know, if she, if, whose mother, if they thought that they, if she thought that her son was being charged with a capital offence, that she, that, that they wouldn't. Uh, whose mother wouldn't lie for them? You know, so it doesn't. So, obviously, what we'll see now is we'll see the conspiracy nuts. This isn't enough for them. So again, let's look at the options. The options are. And the conspiracy, the conspiracy nuts, what are they going to say? They're going to say uh, that these two guys were secretly working for the CIA or some other secret government organisation. And that, uh, or they might say, the conspiracy nuts might say they'd been brainwashed, they'd been uh, in FBI custody at some stage, and then the CIA got hold of them and brainwashed them and injected them with some drugs to brainwash them and program them to go and do these bombings so that these two guys, uh, you know, they did it, but they, they actually didn't have control over themselves because the CIA uh, made them do it by some clever programming of their brain thing. Someone's going to say it. Someone's definitely going to say it. It's as crazy as it sounds to the normal people. <laughs> Someone will say that. Uh, or... They might say it's an Al-Qaeda thing, it's all about the Muslims, you know, because that's a popular thing with, uh, with people is to blame the Muslims, let's blame the Muslims. And it's possible, it is possible with the background that those guys had that, that they've been part of some radical Muslim group, Muslim or otherwise. There's radical Christian groups that kill people as well. So, Muslim or otherwise, it doesn't really, you know, there's a lot of ignorant people that straight away assume all Muslims are terrorists, you know. So there's there's nothing to say that they need be. But it's possible that they're part of some radical group, possibly a radical Muslim group, because that's the area that they came from. That it's, it's possible that they're a part of some radical Muslim group 
and they've done this on their behalf. That's possible. So, so okay, CIA brainwashing. We've got, here's your options. If you've got some others of your own, please tell us. But CIA brainwashing, Muslim, Muslim group, um, put them up to it, uh, are doing it on their behalf. Or two young nut jobs, what's 19 and 23 or something, who came from a violent background, who were disen disenchanted with America and society in general, as often happens with young guys, you know, young guys quite often get pissed off. And this is the same as we've seen with the guys with the automatic weapons going into schools and shooting everybody and things like that is, uh, you know, young guys often get disassociated from society and feel like they're not a part of society and, you know, get depressed and just feel like they're all over it and get sort of, you know, hate society for whatever reason and then decide to do something like this just because they hate they hate society, they hate America, they hate people. You know, it doesn't, America or otherwise, this happens in all sorts of places where dudes just lose it like this. So it's quite possible. I think the most likely scenario, if we look at the different scenarios, so we've got the CIA brainwashing, we've got the Muslim extremist group have put them up to it, or these are just two dudes that are just acting on their own. And to, to me, that seems the most likely that they'll, that they'll find that these guys have got the background to know how to put those devices together. Um, they, they, they weren't happy in America. You know, they, they went there thinking that they could be happy there and they weren't happy there. And they felt alienated from the people and they didn't feel happy there. And they sort of lost it and went ahead and did this on their own, off their own bat. Um, it, it might turn out that they had they had beliefs, they had some crazy beliefs. Now, whether that be extremist Christian beliefs or extremist Muslim beliefs or extremist whatever beliefs isn't really relevant. It really isn't. You know, when you get nut jobs like that do stuff like this, it's if it comes out that it's Muslim guys, just remember that it could be Christian. It's it's possibly Muslim because of the background that they had. But it, it's irrelevant, you know. Unfortunately, what happens in Western society now is that anybody with any connection to Islam at all, if they do anything bad, they go, ah, another Muslim, you know. But, but there's a lot more Christians in our Western societies that are, that are killing people than there are Muslims. It's just a fact, guys. Look at, the re look at the religion, the religious beliefs of most of the people committing crimes in Australia or America or England and you'll find that most of them are Christian because they're Christian societies. But if one of them has to be Muslim, then that's everybody points a finger at that. So possible, possible that these guys, I think the most, the most likely scenario is these two guys were acting alone, but they do have radical beliefs and they do have some strong feelings about the society. And it's possible that, that Islam is connected to it and that their Muslim beliefs are part of it. They're twisted Muslim beliefs because if they were true to their to Islam, they wouldn't be killing people. Same as all religions. People that go around killing each other because of religion are full of shit because all the religions basically have a peaceful component to them. So the people that would go around killing people on behalf of it, whether that be the Christian Crusades or whether that be the radical Islamists, radical Muslims, they're all, uh, they're all twisting around the, the truth of what it actually says in those books. But anyway, that's a topic for a different uh, video, isn't it? So yes, let's agree, or let's suggest that the most likely scenario is these two guys acted alone and they're nut jobs. So, which is pretty much what we said in the last video. We said between one and four guys acting alone, nut jobs, residents, residents living in America and they're nut jobs. And as it turns out, yes, two residents of America, nut jobs. Um, but of course, the, uh, the conspiracy people won't accept this. As always, you know, they won't accept it. It doesn't matter how much, how much uh, evidence uh, the police come up with. And let's, let's keep in mind here that the, this is going to be the local police, the Boston police. This is going to be the FBI. This is going to be uh, the American Homeland Security, I'm guessing. This is going to be a whole heap of agencies, right, who are very competent forces, all of them. So the the uh, conspiracy people are going to have us believe that all those people 
are in on it, right? Because if 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 these guys are innocent, or if these guys, you know, something's been CIA's been behind this, then all those agencies are going to have to not notice that, or are going to have to be in on it, one or the other. Which means that you've got a whole heap of uh, law people there who are going to be or breaking the law by hiding evidence or conspiring, right? Which is, you know, I think I think with all these things. If, if there's a common sense, obvious explanation for something that the majority of people and the law and everybody else is are saying, this is what's happened. These people who have their other beliefs, that's fine and that's healthy, but it's up to them to prove it. So when they get onto the, the rest of us and tell us that, you know, you're crazy, you can't see the truth, you can't, it's up to the conspiracy people to prove it. You know, whether that be proving that this is a clever CIA plot thought up by Obama to try and manipulate what's going on, or otherwise, it's up to those people to prove it. Just a quick thing too, I was thinking about that gun thing recently, you know, that they're pushing the, the Obama, Obama's doing this because he wants to take away everybody's guns. Why would, why would he be motivated to take away people's guns? Like, it's not going to affect him at all. Look at his lifestyle. How many people have got guns out on the street doesn't affect him at all. He, he's, he's in a bubble for the rest of his life. He's in a bubble protected by Secret Service. So why would he care? The, anyway, that's another topic, isn't it? That's another topic. So let's wait and see. Let's wait and see. I'm suggesting two, these two guys are acting alone. They've got some pretty twisted beliefs. They might have been connected with some groups in the past, but they haven't been connected with them for a long time. And they are just disillusioned and pissed off. And they did this thing and got and got caught basically, and that's all there is to it. But the conspiracy people will come up with endless conspiracies about this, you know, and we'll be looking at photos and and bits of photos of dudes on roofs of buildings and all the other stuff that we're seeing already, proving that it's a conspiracy, proving that you know, oh, there's they pro, they plan to have, uh, you know, special events on that day, and it was all time. Oh, it's endless. You can do it for anything. You could do it for anything. If you wanted to, you could you could make up a conspiracy about how well, I'm in on the conspiracy. What's that guy do in Japan anyway? You know, he what's what's he in Japan for? Oh, maybe maybe you know his background. Maybe maybe he works for the CIA. Maybe he's you know you can you can come up with conspiracy for ab absolutely anything. Pick anything out of the next time you watch the news. Pick any. Thing that's on the news at all, no matter how sort of unimportant it is, and, and, and think up a conspiracy. You can do it, because the thing is with these conspiracy theories is they don't, they don't need to prove it, because it's a theory. So all they need is come up with a couple of photos, you know that one of the guy on the roof, there's a guy on the roof, look, there's a Boston Marathon. I imagine there'd be lots of people on the roofs watching the marathon, particularly near the finish point. And then there's suddenly an explosion and the guy goes walking across the roof. Well, wouldn't you? <laughs> You're watching the end of the race, suddenly there's an explosion over there and he walks across the roof towards it. And some people are saying, look, look, that's a conspiracy. You know, it proves that there's something going on. What the fuck? <laughs> well, the, the guys in the, in the Navy SEALs clothes walking around with the, the instruments in their hands, they're detonators. Fuck, really? You're telling me highly trained bomb guys are going to walk around with a big thing like this, a big detonator in their hand, in front of all the cameras, because when the after the bomb went off, there was cameras everywhere, wasn't there? We're seeing the footage now. And those guys are going to walk around, highly trained professionals are going to walk around with a detonator in their hand after a bomb blast. <laughs> but the conspiracy nuts don't have to prove it, right? They, they come up with their weird theory, and then they, they put forward the weird theory, and if we don't believe it, then they tell us that, that we're sheep and that, you know, that we're ignorant and we're, you know, look at the last one. I got a rude prick on the last one, give us a whole heap of abuse, ended up blocking him, but I left his comment on the page because he's a classic. He's a classic, a whole heap of abuse, really angry, really, really angry that we didn't believe the conspiracy, you know? Interesting, actually, on the last couple of videos, I noticed on the conspiracy videos, 99% of the comments are people that believe in the conspiracy. 
Because I guess what happens is anybody that says, no, it's, it's obviously not a conspiracy, that's all bullshit, gets beaten down by all the crazy crazies. So the normal people don't comment. So what you get on those conspiracy videos is 99% of the comments are all going, yeah, it's a conspiracy, yeah, you know. The aliens did it or, you know, whoever, you know, Barack Obama did it, you know, pages of it. But I noticed on the last vid couple of videos that we made, most, most of the comments, some of the comments were saying, oh, there could be more to it. But most of the comments were saying, yeah, look, it's obviously not a conspiracy. It's just, you know, most, what you're saying is most likely true. It's like, it's like our channel has become a little oasis of common sense. <laughs> a little oasis. I might rename the channel, the Oasis Channel. An oasis of common sense in the absurdity. <laughs> uh, an oasis of common sense amongst a world of absurdity. That's what it is. That's what we're doing. But it's all it is, guys. It's, a, it's all I'm appealing to is common sense. You know, uh, CIA plot uh, programming their, their brains, which someone's going to suggest, or, uh, or um, what was the other one we had? You know, all those alternatives or just two nut jobs. Just two nut jobs that have come from a violent background and are very unhappy with society and have done this stupid thing on their own. That's what I reckon it is. So probably what will happen, law, law, the law um, enforcement people will prove that's the case, um, but the, the paranoid people won't believe it and it'll be all saying it's all cover up and it's not true and everything else. But they won't have any proof, will they? Because the con cause they'll tell you it's because the conspiracy people are too clever, so they don't leave any evidence. Brilliant. <laughs> Those brilliant public servants are so clever. <laughs> Dr. Evil, that's the guy I couldn't remember last time. I shall call him Mini-Me. Anyway, the oasis of common sense in a world gone mad. Let's wait and see if we're proven right, guys. More videos coming soon.